Hello, wrestling fans. What a night for wrestling. But I'm Steve Fall on this special edition. I'm talking about Impact Wrestling Slammiversary, but I have a special guest from Pro Wrestling Illustrated. She actually has a show. First time, I thought it was FaceTime. It's Face Turn. That's right, folks. Oh, Candice Cordelia is here talking about Impact Slammiversary. How are you doing today? I am doing fantastic. Steve, how are you? I love the backdrop. I love Oh, I got my Bobby Heenan photo here. Yeah. I got my Lucha mask. I got it in Mexico, which I feel like it actually wasn't made in Mexico, but I bought it there. <laughs> but yes, oh, what a night for wrestling. On this show, we talk about the good, the bad, the what the heck moments of Slammiversary. And of course, the end of the show, we hand out the most prestigious award, the most valuable match of the evening. And since you're in my home, I would like to offer you my good graces. And you, what was your good moment from Slammiversary? Oh my goodness. There were so many. I have notes that I'm looking at. And it's funny because my first thought was the AJ Styles moment. Mm. I, I, it was so special. I think people were like wondering if that was going to happen. And then when it actually did happen, it, I mean, I, my heart just leapt 5,000 <laughs> like paces. It was so nice. And it was yeah. great that he was able to just recall his time in Impact slash TNA. And then also just thank WWE for being able to give him the opportunity to appear. I, I thought that was great. So I'm going to keep that in, in the good moment bracket. There's yeah. others, but that one stands out for me. Oh, so. man, AJ Styles, dude. He... <sighs> I was watching Impact Wrestling when it was on Wednesdays on Fox Sportsnet on Fridays. And then at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, I watched the $10 pay-per-views. I've been here since day one, 20 years ago. I stopped after on Hulk Hogan because reasons. And uh, But, yeah, that's a, that's a good moment. AJ Styles, he, was, he is always going to be Mr. TNA. Like, mm. I think even for so long, even when Hulk Hogan still didn't work for the WWEF, it was still, like, you think of – the WWE, you thought of Hulk Hogan for so long, and AJ Styles, even if he hasn't been there for so long, he's still the face of that brand, and it's just, it's awesome, but at the straight, same time, like, maybe that shows you we need some new faces <laughs> in Impact Wrestling for thinking about AJ Styles still, and he hasn't been there for 10 years. Right, but you know what? It was awesome to see him come back. 10 years, a whole decade, and to see AJ Styles just sitting there, I'm Look, yeah, that's my that's my good moment. I'm sticking yeah. to, to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, my my good moment actually were title changes. I I have a bunch Ooh. of them. Every I think this pay per view might have been designed, and it mm. happens sometimes where everyone loses their titles. Mm. So when you get to the main event, you're like, well, this guy has to be able to. He's obviously going to lose the championship. They're having a theme here, but we had new exhibition champion, uh, women's tag team titles, knockout tag team titles, the tag team titles. And you had Jordan Grace winning the women, the knockouts championship. I keep saying women's. I just want to say women's. I don't know why. It just floats <laughs> off the tongue. Maybe I don't talk about impact enough. And that's a problem probably. But the world title did not change hands. But that's my good mm -hmm. moment is this. I, I love when title changes happen because then it gives me like hope for the future. You're like, oh, well, they're clearly going with these people. Because Speedball, you have Rosemary and Taya who have great chemistry. Good brothers mm -hmm. who are just marketable. Jordan Grace, who deserves this moment. So. I thought it was a hell of a night for title changes, you know? What do you think? Yeah, I like that choice, you know? I almost wanted to give that the what the heck moment. But, <laughs> but also, I agree with you. I like change. I like the whole swerve. I like the surprises. Mm. I wasn't even expecting, and I've been watching Impact pay per views for quite some time. And, you know, there are always those surprises and there's always title changes. But I think this was the first time I saw like 99% of the night were complete title changes and a lot of them really shocked me um especially you know the briscoes and and you know that yeah. whole thing I, I i love the briscoes so to see that title change and i was looking at the comments and a lot of people were really upset actually <laughs> so we'll definitely you know i would love to talk about that some more because i think that's going to be in my what the heck moment for reasons but <laughs> i think that I you know, what's funny is when they lost, the first thing I thought of was like, oh, they're going to AEW. Like, I just thought that instantly yeah. because I bet they wanted to have that deal happen. But then, you know, sometimes business partners do a handshake and then they like, agree on something. Maybe uh, the Briscoes are like that. We're like, we can't mm -hmm. back out on impact. That's just, just a weird theory of mine right now, because I think huh. them 
because Ring of Honor needs to be rebooted. So <laughs> Briscoes are like the ta- like I'm AJ Styles is to TNA. The Briscoes are to Ring of Honor. Like they are truly the face of that brand, and I think. Hmm. Even they've had so many people go through there, obviously, obviously, but the Briscoes have been a constant. But we'll see, we'll, we'll see. see. Um, my bad moment for this pay per view was the fact that Jeff Jarrett wasn't out there hitting everyone with guitar shots at every moment of every time. I wanted everyone to be hit. I didn't care who it was. Shark Boy, <laughs> chair shot. Eric Young, he 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 stole from Jeff Jarrett. He owes Jeff Jarrett money for using that that guitar shot. I don't know if you know. Uh, that's true. That Trademark. is true. Oh my goodness. There I didn't have a ton of bad moments. I like I was trying to think as I'm watching the event, okay, what do I really actually hate? And hate right. is such a strong word, but what what do I dislike? I mean, I guess the whole I was wondering what was up with Mickey James. She kind of just like shoved Tasha Steels into Savannah. And it's like, Mickey, what are you doing? But I don't She's biased. Know. She's biased right. though, right? She is. I mean, what are you gonna do? But um I was trying to think what else would preclude. I guess I wanted to see EC3 show up. I think I really wanted to see him. Yes, I honest to God, when Dixie came out, when Dixie Carter came out and goes to announce the last member of Team Impact, I'm like, it's Dixie Carter. Hello, here she's related to EC3. This makes complete sense. And then I'm like, oh, Davey Richards. Right, And, and it wasn't like, I loved seeing Davey Richards, but I was like, Sheesh, we couldn't just throw EC3, like, just throw them in there a little bit, like, just a little for us. No, you know what that reminded me of, that moment? Uh, <laughs> going on a date to someone's house, and they tell you they're going to make you dinner, and you're so excited about this dinner, you're, like, thinking, that oh, it's going to be great, it's going to be, like, steak, it's going to be, like, something really nice, and they show you a bowl of mac and cheese. Wow, what do you have against mac and cheese? I love mac and cheese, but you know what I like more? Steak. The steak is EC3 in this scenario, and Davy Richards is the mac and cheese. Wow. Wow. All right. <laughs> They're both delicious. So what are you they are both delicious, <laughs> but. Like, but I want the steak. But I want the steak. I feel you. I feel and Dixie you. Carter. It felt like I was being teased. I was like, oh, it is Dixie <laughs> Carter. Oh, shit. She's going to announce the next person. And, and but guess what? David Richards, for like five, six years, was um a staple in impact wrestling i didn't watch it there and then i knew it was happening but i knew so yeah, for some people that might have been a great moment for me an older impact fan mm. like to, to me seeing like the beautiful people engine of love and velvet sky would have been nice um yeah true M- money brown they showed him in a video package but he mm-hmm. was a big part of it raven abyss mm-hmm. here's a f- america's most wanted was that that was nice but there's a, there are a few people that were like the core yeah. impact TNA when it yeah. was called TNA. So, but yeah, my bad is definitely though, uh, just Jared at every moment, oh. every moment and every turn and every second of the day, he should have been hitting people on <laughs> the show, <laughs> the guitar. That's just me. That's I understand. just me. I understand. Um, what was your, what the heck moment here at Slimiversary? You know, I think I am going to go with, with the Briscoes and the Good Brothers because I wanted, I really wanted the Briscoes to keep those titles a little longer. I did. I do. I really, I wish it, it was a different decision, but we'll see what happens. I understand your whole, you know, ring of honor. That could very well be it. That could very well be it. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to see them keep those titles for a little longer. It's it, They haven't had them for that long. So to see that whole title change, I was like, oh, here we go. All right. It is what it is. So yeah, that's my what the heck. <laughs> right. And, and what's so strange is because the the so some anniversary is a pay-per-view. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, but if you watch the monthly, you know, impact specials, technically those are pay-per-views. So it's like very it's like title changes happen all the time on all these yeah. events. But for some strange reason, they consider like four or five of them like the big ones. But if mm-hmm. you look at the cards of all the shows, they're never bad. So like absolutely there is no like i don't know if it's wrestlemania would be the the word to describe but like even wrestlemania matches you've seen before but like the uh element the uh, the presentation you know the theatrics of it i think this is a night you should have spent a lot of money on things but Mm -hmm. or go to a bigger city and hope you do do well like a new york philly chicago 
come to Philly, come back to Philly Impact. I interviewed Dale, uh, Gail Kim recently and I was like, why don't you come to Boston? Why do you hate Boston so much? Tell but me why she, you hate Boston. It looks like she wants to, I've seen her tweeting it. She wants to, I think we're going to see Impact in Boston soon I and that'll know. be credited to you. So uh, someone, hey. <laughs> someone will say they came up with it first. It happens. <laughs> There's so much of that. Um, my what the heck was seeing Dixie Carter. Uh, really? Physically there because we have video packages from Sting, Kurt <laughs> Angle, AJ Styles. Those were awesome to see. But physically seeing Dixie Carter in the arena. And I think that was a really nice moment. I think people, I don't know if they give her credit. I don't think they give her credit where she actually deserves it because her company, her father's company, her vision, vision, kept this business going. I I lived in Florida for three years. Mm. And and that was when the impact zone was at Universal Studios. And I used to sit outside for like six hours because that's, it wasn't, you couldn't buy tickets. It was first come first serve. So if you were first in line, you got in and she was always so energetic during the, like the parts that weren't being taped. She'd be like, all right, everybody, if you, you know, cheer for your favorite person and you'll get a free t-shirt. I'm like, what? So you're sitting there screaming, going crazy. And she's, she's getting the crowd clapping. She's doing the whole damn thing. You don't see her it happening. It's off camera. So wow. just seeing her physically there was nice because she deserves it. it. That's like if there was, if WCW was still around and they didn't invite Eric Bischoff back to like mm. wave and say, thank you. That'd be crazy. And so having Dixie here was nice. I thought, but uh, uh-huh. That is nice. I I really, I don't know why I have like a negative connotation towards what the heck, but I, I agree with you there in terms of like it being nice to see Dixie. I thought Hmm. that was really, because people still talk about Dixie to this day. You know, you, you see people always mentioning Dixie Carter and I agree with you. It was great seeing her there. Maybe we'll see her more. Maybe this is, you know, the precursor to some new and exciting announcement which I think Gail talked about. She, I don't know if it was in your interview, if I remember correctly. I remember reading her She's got a few of them. Yeah. That one, that, yeah. that one was not mine when she mentioned anything about the development yeah. of Impact. Yeah, there's something coming, I feel. So I'm, I'm here for it. Seeing Christy Hemi too, like that was yeah. amazing. So yeah, I think they're cooking something up, Steve. Oh man. Don't get, <laughs> get me all excited. Because I've interviewed a few people and the like I interviewed Moose and Moose brought up, he's like, well, we need to be on different cable systems because Mm -hmm. the cable system, the channel they're on isn't in every house. Like for instance, if you have direct TV or Xfinity or Comcast or whatever, you, we all get say like CNN. Yeah. But access TV is not part of the subscription deal when you get cable. Yes. Yes. So that's a big one. That so, yeah, I agree. What did you think about their match, the Monsters Ball? That was oh my god! Yeah, you know when I first was like, oh, I was like <laughs> Sam McCallahan and Moose fighting. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> then you know you're sitting here watching it, and first you're like, all right, they're fighting. Okay. Wow, well, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> and like- then you look up though, you start watching it, and you're so instead of on your phone, you're like, oh, oh. And then, yes, and then by the end, I'm like, this dude took a pile driver on the mat with his clearly thumbtacks and he's upside down. You know, that's got to hurt. So yeah. I really enjoyed that match. I, honest to God, there's the matches on here that the, the, just, the thought of them was like, this is stupid. And then I watched <laughs> it and I was like, God damn, you sold me. That was Man. so good. <laughs> was so good. Um, right. Like, so we go to the best of the match of the night. We'll go to the best match of the okay. night. Um, I have kind of like two, like okay. one was obvious. We'll talk about it in full length in a second. One obviously was going to be Josh Alexander and Eric Young, obviously. Oh, 100%. But the match that either I had such low expectations for blew my mind was the Impact Originals versus On and No More. Because oh. I absolutely, this is a personal preference. I absolutely hate like multi-man four and four, five on five matches. I hate them. I just, I think they're a waste of time because some people act like they've been wrestling for like an hour. You've been in the match for like two minutes. (laughs) (laughs) I don't like them. This one though, 
sold me. Same thing. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, oh cool. they're fighting. By the end, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Matt <laughs> Taven. I absolutely love Matt Taven. You know, PCO, like Vincent. Not there's, some, there's some people that um, I always knew were good, but like, yeah, I, I just don't like multi man matches. So when you get put in those, I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. But this one pulled me right back in, and I was like, yeah. Wow. God damn, you changed my mind. <laughs> I agree. It was awesome. For me, I feel like it's a three-way tie because it ended up being like with the Monsters Ball, I wasn't expecting it to be that intense and it really won me over right. for the whole night's event. But then also the Queen of the Mountain was a spectacular, in my opinion. And also the X Division match, I highly and thoroughly enjoyed. So I think I'm going to go with a three-way tie with those three. Um, but the Queen of the Mountain was, it was so good. It was so, there were so many different elements, so many different tying up with different storylines. I really think we're going to see like Mickey and Chelsea again. Something's going to happen there. Perhaps they're going to introduce Deanna. Um, it, I just saw a lot of good things with that match. And I really, I loved it. I loved it. All three of them were just, you know, I'm still thinking about those matches. So I'm going to be that one to say, yeah, three-way tie. <laughs> I'm not just going to pick the one. <laughs> That's not how this works. Like, no. <laughs> no. Um, Josh Alexander versus Eric Young is like my, definitely my, you know, yeah. it, if I had to pick one match for someone, go, oh, what was it like? What, what match should I watch? I have one time, mm -hmm. I have time for one match to watch, but that one. Josh Alexander is like impossible to have a bad match. Absolutely. And like the only thing I wish, this is just me, is I want him to be like a little more intense. Like at the end, he was like slapping sure. himself and going crazy. I was like, yeah, I want you like that the whole damn match, though. Yeah. I want him red hot. I want him, I want him Kurt, Kurt Angle esque. I want him to be yeah. just like Kurt Angle. Like Kurt Angle's what soul left his body, even though he's still alive, and, and <laughs> end up in Josh Alexander's. And I want him to be like, oh, killing people. I think he's getting there. I feel like ever since, you know, he had that feud with Moose and ever since then, it just seems like he's very, you know, and I interviewed him recently, he's very laser focused and he has always a plan of attack. So it never struck me as someone to like, really like go all, you know, rowdy Kurt Angle S. Maybe it'll get there. It'll, maybe it'll pop right. out. Maybe that's time. not him. Maybe that's not yeah, exactly. Him. You know, yeah, yeah. And, and that's not to say, you know, that it couldn't happen, but I feel as though he just went in with an attack. He knew what he was going to do. He knew he had to defeat Eric. He came, he saw, he conquered, and then he's just like on to the next. So yeah, that match was absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy he retained because I was like, if this turns out to be him losing the title and it's all completely and news for the whole night, I think that match, if it turned out to be another and new, I think that would be the one that I would just be super upset if he were to lose that title. So I'm really happy for Josh. I'm just hoping he retains for as long as he possibly can because, you know, it's been a long time coming. So yeah, I'm here for the, the Josh Alexander reign terror <laughs> me too yeah. I, I i i got a little nervous because i'm like i don't know there's a lot like they remove the mat and like yeah the woods there and i'm like how do you excuse him kicking out of this <laughs> and i was like i don't know i was like oh oh no like that's the one where i watched the whole time i have no phone yeah now it was a like, please god just, just please like uh, please i was pleading with my tv it gave me what I wanted, thank God. But then, like, I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, oh, my God. I don't want to watch. But I'm like, oh, my, oh my God. It's right. only, you know, uh, 10.54. I'm like, oh, no. Right? What's You're thinking, I was thinking Is the there, like, a, do they have a cash in here? Is there a cash in? Is there a cash in? <laughs> like, suddenly I'm thinking, like, who's going to show up? Where's Jeff Jarrett and his 10,000 guitars falling from the sky, hitting Josh Alexander right? all at the same time? Like a piano. I know. I was like, is EC3 coming out? What's going on? I feel you with that because they ended much earlier than I thought. And I was like, yeah. what, what's what's happening? This is not the norm, but I, I'm here for it. My you fantasy know? always is for uh, Bray Wyatt to show up everywhere. So <laughs> That's everyone's fantasy. <laughs> yeah. Like, I hope I, I mean, when I go upstairs, go to bed, that he just shut up here. Oh, shit. Bray Wyatt, what are you doing here? God, he's made me crap my pants. But uh, no, we're that's, all I, every so I'm like, oh my god, there's time left for Bray Wyatt to show up. The time for like I'm like looking around, I'm like there's time. No. I know, Mr. Wyatt. We're just we're we're all waiting on pins and needles for that man to show up somewhere, anywhere. 
please. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I don't care where he shows up. You know, right? Bathroom, shower. <laughs> See, this what? is starting to sound like a, a horror. I, I, you know, in Hollywood here, Steve, just like Bray. He, it's he, the See No Evil sequel starring yes. Bray Wyatt and myself. I would I'm, love the mur- that. I'm the murderer. Spoiler alert. I'm the murderer. <laughs> but on this show, we also give the show either a thumbs up a thumbs down, and a thumbs in the middle. So what we do here, though, is we put our hands up like this. Oh. So you get your hand up like this. Okay. You start off like this. Okay. All right? And we count three, two, one, and we either do a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a thumbs in the middle, or you can go a little, okay. you know, order. All right? Are you ready? Yes. All right, and three, and two, and one. Beep. I was going to do a swerve and go back down. Oh. <laughs> No. Don't swerve me, bro. Don't swerve <laughs> me, bro. All right. Double thumbs Good. ups. I love it. Yeah, I thought it was, it was a great show. Fabulous. It was fabulous. I really enjoyed it. I'm so happy for Impact Wrestling 20 years. That's a huge accomplishment. They don't, they don't have bad, start. they don't, they don't have bad events. Like they don't they have don't. bad reviews. They just have um, I don't know, bad commercial spots, maybe. Uh, yeah. it's yeah. like it's like you, I don't know. There's like a stigma still. Hmm? I know. And that's the, I was going to say, do you watch commercials anymore? Like, do I watch, remember. Do you watch Impact Wrestling's commercials? Or commercials in general? Uh, Is that a thing? No. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, no. You're like, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Commercial. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> knock at my door with a, with a uh, flyer. <laughs> But I feel you. There is a stigma. But I, I think the more people watch, the more it's like what Dixie said, you know, thank you for buying the shirts and, and coming to the shows and buying the tickets. It's the fans that are obviously helping to keep everything afloat. And it's really nice. And I hope, you know, as soon as time continues to progress and they keep on putting great pay-per-views and having their weekly TV, it'll just more people will watch. So that's my hope. I enjoy Impact. I really do. So Me too. But you know, if you're looking for your tweets to get retweeted during Impact, it's a little hard. You do it during Raw and SmackDown. <laughs> you're like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I got a gif of uh, Elf <laughs> yelling no, and no. Uh, something happened to Liv Morgan. Said, boom. That's true. That Simple is stuff. true. Simple stuff. Algorithms. You got to study the algorithms. But thank you so much <laughs> for being here on this special edition of the show here at SE Scoops talking about Impact's Slumiversary uh, from Pro Wrestling Illustrated, Candice Corley. Oh, thank you so much for being here. It was my pleasure. If I had a hat on, I would tip it to you. My raspberry beret. Absolutely. Thank you That's for it. having me, Steve. You know what? I'll, I'll use this action figure as a, as a hat. <laughs> I will tip <laughs> Animal from LOD to you, my lady. There you go. Thank, thank you, you so much. Folks, awesome. have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye.